Hello everyone, my name is Julian. I'm the founder of Noteforms and in this video I'll show you how to get started. The first thing to do is to create an account. You can do so by just clicking one of the blue buttons on the main page. And then you can either fill the details or simply log in with your Google account. Once your account is created, you need to connect your Notion workspace with your Noteforms account. Doing so is super easy. You just need to click the blue button here. And then on this Notion page, you need to make sure you have the right Notion workspace selected here. That's only if you have several, of course. You can then click Select Pages. And finally, you need to select the pages that you want to share with our Notion integration. If you think you'll be working with many different pages or databases through the workspace, you can simply click this button here. We will share the entirety of the workspace with our integration. Finally, you can simply click Allow Access. Great, our Notion workspace is now connected. Now, let's create our first form. Imagine I have this content database and I would like to create a form for other people to be able to fill this database I have in Notion. I will select the option, I already have a Notion database. I'll click continue. And then from the list here, I just need to pick my database. And then I can then click create your form. And you can see that a form preview already appears here. Every database property has its own input in the form. However, I would like to hide some of them in this form. So I will start by hiding the targets property and the completion property. Finally, I would like to reorder the fields that way. That seems perfect. Now, I would like to add a bit more context for the people filling the form. So I will just grab a text block here and I will simply customize it. Great. And finally, I would like to make the form a bit nicer. Uh, so I will be changing the theme to look a bit more like Notion. And I will also add a cover image. Great. Looks great. Um, <coughs> it looks great. So there are plenty of things you can do with node forms. You can add logic to hide or show specific fields. You can add relations. You can uh, add integrations to connect, for instance, a Google Sheet uh, table. You can send some emails whenever the form is sent. But for now, we'll just stick to these options. So I will go and publish the form. Great, so I can now open the form. It has its own link that you can easily share. You can also very easily embed it into your Notion pages. Let's fill the form. Let's say I want to add the book uh, Atomic Habits. Select a category. So it's self-development and it's a book. Let's just add a cover for the book. Here it is. And finally, I can submit. And yeah, we just got our first submission. Congrats. So here we have some more guides on how to embed the form, how to share it or to access our help center. But now let's take a look at our submission within our Notion database. So if I click this button here, it will open my database. And as you can see here, we have a new entry, Atomic Habits, Self-Development, Book and our file here. Noteforms has plenty of features to offer from entire customization, custom code, custom domain, and many other things. That's it for this short getting started guide. If you have any question, please feel free to reach out via the live chat on the website. Thanks. Have a great day.